Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code. This is part four of our Creating Connect 4 in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript tutorial series. In this part, we'll be setting the diagonal win condition for the game because in the previous video, we set the horizontal and vertical win conditions. All right, so let's get started. So in your app.js file, what we're first going to do is initialize two variables. So the first variable will be called top left and that will be equal to zero. The second will be top right, and we'll set that to top left plus three. So what these variables are, are they represent the top left and top right of a four by four square. So the way we're gonna be checking diagonals is we're going to be creating a four by four square, and then we're gonna be checking the diagonals, the two diagonals of that square. And we're going to be doing that for all the 4x4 four four squares which exist on the Connect4 board. So first we're going to start with this one, then we're going to move it over one cell to the right. So with this one, we're going to conti keep continue doing that until we go down through all of the 4x4 four four squares on the Connect4 board. So the way we're going to do that is with a double for loop. So first we're going to say for var i is equal to zero, then inc well i is less than three, we're going to increase i by one, then within this another for loop, so for var j is equal to zero, j is less than four, and then j plus plus. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to check the top left to bottom right diagonal. So if dollar sign and then hash plus top left dot attribute data player is equal to P and I'll explain all of this after I'm done writing it down. So we can copy this and then say and and then change this to top left plus eight. Remember to put it inside of parentheses. And then change the second one to 16 and the last one to 24. And then we're going to say if that happens, then return true. All right, perfect. So, what this does is it checks the top left to bottom right diagonal. So first, check, first it checks the top left cell, which as we can see is zero, starts out at zero. Then it checks the top left cell plus eight. So this is the top left cell, and then plus eight would be this cell. So it starts off at zero, then it goes on to eight, then it goes on to 16, then 24. And as the cells, or as the square keeps on moving across the board, those those values will remain the same. So the second diagonal from top left to bottom right will be eight more than the top left and then 16 more than 24 more and then so on and so forth so now we need to check the bottom left to top right so you can just copy this entire thing we'll change a few values around so we're going to change top left to top right And then we're going to change the 8 to a 6, 16 to 12, and 24 to 18. So the reason why we change the values is top right, as you can see, starts off at 3. And then we're going to be moving on to this one, which is, which is 9. And then this one, which is 6 more than that, 15. And then lastly, this one, which is 21. And so that's why the values are changed and so now 
we have the first square, but now we need to do it for all the squares. So the way we'll do that is we'll move top left. We'll increase it by one. So top left plus plus. Then top right is equal to top left plus three. And then underneath this inner for loop, we're going to move top left down one cell. So top left is equal to i times 7 plus 7. And then top left is equal to, or top right is equal to top left plus 3. All right, so the reason why we have these values set here is because within the inner for loop, we're going to be moving the top left cell to the right. And then within the outer for loop, we're going to be moving it down. So first it moves to the right three times. So it starts off here, then moves right there, then there, then there. And then with this, with this bottom argument, then we move it down. And then it continues with that process till it goes through all of the squares on the board. So now we can test this. And as you can see, it works. All right, so that's it for this video. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to leave them in the comment section down below. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. This has been Steam Code. I'll see you guys next time.